Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back at Volkov River, and guys, it is the New Year's Fair. I know it's a few days past New Year's, but I do want to show you this before it comes to an end. I'm not sure how long it's going to keep going on, but check this out. <laughs> this is cute. See a little guy sitting there with the little snowman that waves you on, and this guy that has a music box and what they're showing you here is there's new types of tackle that you can purchase now I've gone ahead and purchased some of this stuff but I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy a little bit more because some of this stuff may come in really handy I'm gonna get something a little bit well these are real small honestly but I think I'm gonna go grab myself a green one, orange one, and a silver one. And this one here is a heavier lure. And I'm going to grab a silver one. Actually, I'm going to get one of each. Because these may come in very handy here in the near future. Now this one here is not going to help me as far as a float I did grab this one, the cork, but this one, well, basically it's for live bait, and I'm not advanced to that level yet, guys. So, anyway, we're going to go back here just a little bit here. And... Also, you can buy all kinds of food here. You can get lollipops and bublik and hotcakes and fish soup, chocolate fish of three different types, collage. Now, last year when I purchased these, these things will feed you for quite a while, guys. So I would suggest buying as many of them as you can while they are here because they're not real expensive. This one will be real good for when it's cold and nasty outside. Yeah, I think I'm going to grab, grab a couple of cups of tea because they're not very expensive. And I think I'm going to get some of these blinches with caviar. All right. Yeah, this is pretty cute. Now, I'm not sure how much longer this is going to be going on, but... We're going to go back down here because I also want to show you something else new that has been introduced. This is a Type A boat. This was just added with the latest update. And this boat is known for its speed. Now the other two boats are kind of slow and they take their time to get wherever they're going. This particular boat gets there much quicker so you can get to wherever you want to go at a much faster pace. The only problem with that is, guys, you do have to pay a little more for it. So if you go back to the boat station, you'll notice that these boat A rentals are a little more pricey I mean even the one day is pretty much double what the one day is for the regular boats but still honestly if you want to get around quick this is the boat to go with guys so I'm gonna go ahead and give you a quick look at this and check it out this thing has some speed compared to the other boats. I'm going to go ahead and pause the engine and I'm going to put out a couple of my rods here. See if we can't catch something. And I might employ some of the new lures that I just got for the New Year's Fair here. Let's see. All 
right, let's see what we got on, on here as far as those. We got the last funky minnow. That was what I had on here last. Let's see, we've got. Let's try this new spinner, the Pomora spinner here. See if that does anything different. And number two. Let's see about putting another new lure on here. Let's see. Uh, let's put this particular lure on here. This is a little on the heavier side, which is perfect for this particular rod. This rod is set up for heavier lures. Alright, let's get this thing into trolling mode. We're going to see what we can catch with these if possible. Now trolling speed is pretty much the same as with the other boats. But this boat is a lot easier to see around. I mean the motor is much closer to the back so you can kind of see around it considerably easier. I'm not sure if you could do multiplayer with this because it looks like you have space for another person but that is I guess a future thing to see if that plays out. Anyway it's getting it's like 308 in the afternoon so things are going to be a little bit slow at this point but when it gets closer to six or seven we should get a little more activity okay looks like we've got a serious bite here off this whoop this particular lure I'm really curious to see what this is honestly let me put the friction brake up a little bit here now we can bring him in a little bit more come on big guy Let's see what we got here guys we have an ASP of 1.273 kilograms, 2,148 XP. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So these lures are going to work, guys. They're pretty decent. Let's throw that back out. That one's set too. Let's go ahead and pull anchor and keep trolling. Try to get as close to these stick ups as we can because we might get some pike to decide to grab some of these lures. Another thing that was changed with the recent update is the uh, XP and price of pike apparently went up. So I want to see if I can take advantage of that. Oh shoot! <laughs> Looks like we got something again. Dang on it! I keep getting those two mixed up. Yeah, I'm gonna need to move that one to the other side. Let's see what we got here. Probably is it a pike? No, it's a chub. That yeah, works for me. We're going to have to remember the number one's over here and number two's over here. Keep forgetting that. And we are right in the middle of these stick-ups, so we need to get on the other side of them. I'm 
Try not to get a snag if we can. I think what we'll do is we'll try to circle around this island and see if we can't skirt around this island as well. Maybe try to go down all alongside the outer edges of these. And nothing's really going for this particular lure, which is kind of disappointing, honestly. Yeah, I like these new boats. I like them a lot. They are... I don't know. I just... Not that they're more compact. Maybe it's just because I like the color red. <laughs> Truthfully. But we are going to keep going in this direction. Stay fairly close to the bank. I'm hoping to get a pike interested. Not that I'm complaining. I mean, the asp is pretty good, honestly. But it seems like the Atlantic salmon are pretty much over on this side here. I think this is supposed to empty out into the ocean, which is why they're over on this location. Plus, this area over here is the deepest area that we have on this map. So, we might eventually get over to that. But so far we're not getting a whole lot of action, but that's not uncommon at this time of day. It's about, I know it says 1757, but that, that's military time. That means it's 7.59, or now 6 p.m. And that means the sun's going to start to go down, and that's when the fish really start to bite. Whoa, okay, it looks like we have got a bite. I had switched this over to the Xander lure that I have, and it looks like that got some attention. Kind of curious to see what this has. And it did get actually go for a Xander. There you go. Nice. I mean, he's not huge, but I will take him. See if we can't get another one. Keep going this way. Try to stay the deep areas. Usually you catch the Xander at night, so that was that was pretty cool. Alright, looks like we finally got us a bite here. Let me go ahead and stop this. This guy is serious. Really serious. Increase the tension a little bit, see if we can't get this guy to slow down. He's coming. Alright, we got we we're getting him guys, we're getting him. He is making some progress. I am seriously curious to see what this fish is. Because he hit hard and he hit fast.
see what he is, guys. It is a monster asp. 2.808 kilograms. 4,000 XP points. Yeah, we will definitely take this guy. Alright. Looks like the asp are biting. That is good, good, good. Alright, let's get this thing back in gear again. I think I'm going to take in a little bit of substance here to give me a little energy. So that means coffee. And then we'll keep on moving, guys. Hopefully we'll get something else fairly decent sized. Whoa! Okay, looks like we got us another one here. Let's go ahead and stop this. Set the anchor. Grab the pole. See if we can't get this one in here, guys. They really like this particular lure a lot. Yeah, this is a big fish and he is giving me a bit of a fight. Definitely testing the strength of my gear here. But I'm pretty sure this gear is strong enough to handle him. Here he comes. He's going to make one last ditch effort there. Alright, let's get him in a little closer. Okay, let's... Damn! Now that... It's another nice asp. 2.519 kilograms. Alright. We're doing good with the asp, I'll tell you that. They really do like this particular Xander lure. It's, it's a good thing. Good thing. Alright. Let's go a little bit further. I think after a certain point we're going to have to end this episode, but we definitely know what to get the asp with. We've seen the Xander. We've seen... Well, we did see a small perch. be nice if it could get us a pike or a Atlantic salmon, but I'm not sure it's going to happen today. Alright guys, it looks like we've got another bite here. This time it looks like it's off the second rod. This is off one of the new Christmas lures, so I'm going to see what we got off of this. Ah! The pike went for it. Now, nah, he's not big though, but he did go for it. Alright. Yeah, this particular lure let me give you a look at it. It looks like a tube. Kind of different from most of the lures we're used to dealing with here. Yep, it looks like this. It's called a pipe 80 dash. I think mine's the 80 dash 1. Let me make sure of that. Yep, 80 dash 1. But the pipe do go for it. Just wish I could have gotten a bigger one. Okay, we're kind of heading off to the weeds here. Let's get out of these weeds. 
And I think we're going to circumnavigate the area again. See if we can't attract something else. Yeah, guys, it's starting to get to be night, and I think this first little bit of a trolling episode's about over. I don't know if we're going to get any more fish at this point, but we're going to keep going until the sun does go down, and we'll see what happens here. Alright guys, looks like we've got us a bite on this particular lure. Let's go ahead and stop this, set anchor, and grab it. Let's see what we got. It is now nighttime, so this might be the last of this particular episode, guys. Let's see what we got here. I think it might be a perch. Yeah, just a little perch. That's fine. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed that episode, we got a first look at these new boats and some of the stuff that we've been able to get for the uh, New Year's Fair, but I've got all kinds of them, I've got a bowl of fish, bowls of fish soup and some bublik blintzes with caviar and chocolate fish, hot cakes, gingerbread cookies all kinds of lollipops so I am doing pretty darn good with the food even got some tea and some mulled wine here in a cup and vodka so I think we're pretty set to continue this on but anyway guys I hope you enjoyed that episode please be sure to share comment like and subscribe and I will see you in the next episode so until then I will see you later, and always remember, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, guys. Bye-bye.